Well, hello, hello, and welcome to Coffee Craft with Anon Jr. Notice anything different in the background there? I did a few things off stream this past weekend, and one of which is that little barn over there. And uh, let, let's go take a look at some of the things that happened real quick. Because uh, all of them were things that we had talked about on the last stream, and if I had the time, I was going to clean up this courtyard a little bit, I moved some trees around, and more importantly, I got my horses out of that little hole in the wall over there, and I got the llamas out from away from my front door. Uh, and we got this nice little structure here. It's a little simple, a little rudimentary, but uh, I'm working on it. One step at a time, and... For some reason, Mr. Spare Ribs over there loves standing on that stack of hay. I wish I knew why. Originally, I was going to have half the llamas over here on this side and then the other half on the other side. But for whatever reason, I couldn't figure out why, no matter which three I put over here, they all strained to be a part of that group there. So <laughs> no matter which three I threw over here on this post, they all stood right here in front of the gate, making it kind of hard to get to the horses. So I just tossed them all over here. Where did this come from? From pushing back the land. If you remember, that hill over there used to actually come out to around here or so, leaving just a little narrow gap down to the lake. So we got some nice paths. We got a little bit of lighting in here. And we got a easy trip over to the lake. And, uh... I'll come back to this project a little bit later, work on that cave up there, and build up a little bit more of the mountainside. That's uh, on the project list. Also happening over here, I got a little bit of work done over in the farms. So if you remember on last week's live stream, we were up here working on a couple of uh, animal farms. No, not with the conch shell. Um, <laughs> Over here, we set up a little cow breeder, yeah, you know, so we get our cook steaks. You might notice that there is a button missing for the sheep farm. I remembered why I didn't have that on the last server when I burnt up all the mutton and wool. Because the lava blade stays out just a little bit too long with a stone button. So I gotta figure out a way to get the timing down so it uh, it's a shorter delay. And of course we got the pig farm over here and I'd mentioned I was going to start working on moving the egg farm over here. One of the things that I'd like to do in addition to the regular egg farm, like what we have down in the corner of the basement over there, is I want it set up so that way once the eggs fill a double chest worth, ignore that zombie flesh for a second, once this double chest gets full of eggs, the rest will get fed into a cooked chicken farm over here. And I've got the first little bit of redstone down, so the way this works, let me pull a couple of stacks out of zombie flesh out. So this box is going to fill up with eggs. On top of this hopper, we're going to have all the chickens laying eggs, and it'll go down, go down, go down, and I've got this comparator running off of the double chest and it is comparing the signal strength of the chest, which is determined by how many items are in the chest, how full it is, and it's going to compare that signal strength to that redstone block. So it's comparing the signal strength of the chest to a full signal strength of 15. That's only going to happen when that box is full. So until that box is full, there's no signal coming off of there, no power going into the hopper that feeds that chest, and down here is a torch locking this hopper over here. And then what happens is, so we throw some stuff in there, they start feeding in. Because this hopper is unlocked and the one below it is locked, it's gonna, the eggs are going to flow down from this hopper into this one and then go into the chest. Because this hopper is unlocked and this hopper is locked. And oh, I thought I timed that better. Uh... <laughs> Here, let's speed things up. Bam! So that's going to fill up, fill up, fill up. And as soon as that last stack tops off and we have a completely full chest 
of full stacks of eggs. Two, three, four, bam. That now equals that. So we're going to get a signal off the comparator, and it's going to go into uh, this repeater here, which is going to power this hopper and lock it. So nothing else is going to go into the chest. The power is also going to come down this line here, powering this block, which will power this repeater, which will power this block, and unpower that torch, unlocking this hopper right here. So there's where the other 35 rotten flesh went. What I'm going to do next step in this is I'm going to set up a line of dispensers to kind of elevate the eggs back up and then fit that into a chicken farm over here in this corner. And then once I got the so eggs are going to fill the double chest when they're done filling the double chest, they'll start going into a cooked chicken farm. And then I'll put in a similar overflow control on that so that way once we get uh, a, a certain amount of cooked chicken and feathers, it will then move, it'll then start discarding the extra. Because the last time I ran a chicken cooker, I continually ran into the problem of it overflowing and causing all sorts of fun lag issues. So that's pretty much everything that happened off stream. Um, my inventory is still a hot mess. So, you know what, let me... While I'm here, let me just go ahead and dump all the stuff I was using for this project. And I'm going to now unmute Discord and say hello to the rest of the crew. Arcadius and Ray Esther on. We're all working together. Our main plan for today is to start building an elevated rail line. It's one of the projects that Ray Esther wanted working on. And while we all have the time together, we're going to plot out where the stations are going to go and just a general direction of the line. We may even get into some of the construction. The other thing we're going to do is start working on the lighting situation over here because we got these big vast hills and the uh, critters love coming out of this wood and over to our villager breeder and causing problems there. So we're going to light up all this area over here and... Uh, I really ought to build a wardrobe over by that lamp. <laughs> That's one of the things I meant to do uh, Saturday when I was on here. Uh, incidentally, here's Rayest's completed post office. We're going to partner up for a couple other builds, too, where I build a community tree farm, and then she builds the building around it, and, uh, and we'll go from there. So, with that said, uh, oh, shoot. I left my bed all the way back at the <laughs> at the construction Run site. Run away! Uh, if somebody could kindly sleep. I'm getting there. I've got to get in there. Oh, there we go. Arcadius is on it. <laughs> timing, you know timing. I mean? timing. I mean, half the time it's uh, it it's turning night just as I'm trying to start the stream. <laughs> well, you do realize half the time it's night. Like, literally. Yes, thank you for that. <laughs> Look at the right. map. It's going to have a prettier room yep. eventually. This is the map that Arcadius built that was originally sitting back in that far off corner. Reyes has been diligently working on clearing up all the clutter that had been out here. We've got our storage area labeled and set aside. Now we just have to get all the server members to use it for their community donations. And again, just to refresh, we all each have our private storage area, but anything that we want to offer up to whoever needs it goes into that big community storage building over there. And it is all labeled. Easily labeled. It's very labeled. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was trying to pointedly remind a server member of that fact. Ah. <laughs> oh, it's going to be even more labeled once I finish getting more levels, because I just spent all my levels on labeling the boxes. And then I'm going to label all the items that are in the item frames. <laughs> oh, that'll be fun. So, now that we've got Arcadia, so flying in over... Over to the wrong place. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we have questions. First of which being, where do we want to start putting stations for our elevated rail? Even if we don't actually start laying down bricks and that sort of thing, uh, we need to kind of plan out stations. I was thinking about building the uh, switching station like Iskal did on the Hermitcraft server. You know, taking a look at his videos cool. and replicating that. So my initial thought was we have our central hub somewhere here in the community area, have a line run off to my base, a line run off to Reyes base, a line run off to Arcadius's beach house, and then uh, start moving out from there. If that um, seems well, I good to the group. could move the map again because this seems a logical place for that because off that way is my place off that way is your place off this direction is arcadius's okay that might so be the we're most gonna linear way to do that good so central station will be here where we're standing yep all right uh <laughs> i just emptied my inventory <laughs> I'll go get signs. That works. <laughs> that entire shulker. Well, not entire, but... Oh, of the... I spent some uh, time at the... Lanterns. Yeah. Yeah. I, you asked me to get some, so there you go. Yep. Yeah, I gotta go yeah, grab all the uh, spruce leaves out of my storage area there. Uh, we have a blue million in the community area. Do you want me to grab those while I'm in here? Oh, uh, sure. Since flying seems to be off the table at the moment. So you rolled a two. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was a botch. No, no. I got a little elevation. I didn't, like, crash and yes. burn and break everything. That would have been a one. <laughs> So, a crack ton of spruce leaves, and a bunch of dark oak planks, which I already have crafted. Why Off the dark oak planks? Signs. Oh, signs. Just in case we do any more of the, um, the little shrubberies. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Now, are we actually going to put a line out in the open here? Or do we want to put one through the, the hill here, like underground? Um, it was my understanding that the original idea was to have an elevated train line. Yeah. Think like the cities that Hollywood thinks are cities. Uh, there's like ah. only two cities in America that have an L, but, you know, every Hollywood movie has them. Um, that way you can see the stuff that's being built as it goes. So we'll put it up on a riser. It'll come down to the station here. And uh, then if we got a stack of random blocks. Because the question is we got to figure out where we're going to put the uh, stations at each base. I don't think I spelt it right, though. We can always fix them post. <laughs> oh, you took my box. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> so what's the function? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so... From here, we'll start with your base since it is the closest. Where is okay. the off station going to be since we're like already a scant few blocks away from your base? Like if you can't walk from the station to your base, maybe you want to see we where gotta, I would like it to be. Where would you like it to be? I'd be right back. Oh, no. I also feel like I'm going to need my rockets anyway. Yeah, you might need some rockets. They're at my base. So fly and get them. Ooh, yay! <laughs> Rockets! Oh, I only got five of them. Ooh, there's more. Oh, 
That's not many. <laughs> you guys! Come on! <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Serious? Come on upstairs. Oh. Ah! Get in the water! Oh. It only goes so high. Hello, puppy. Uh, no, oh, works. you have two puppies. <laughs> One's named Jello. Yep. His collar's the wrong color. Well, the dog's the wrong color, too. Mm. Until you, Mo Yang lets you change, you know, your dog's color. That would be kind of nice. Uh, who took my box? Mm, I think Not I have it here. Yes, that's my box. Okay. All right. So what if we're not done? Why are you guys looking through my stuff? Come here. I'm looking through the Ender chest. That's not your stuff. No, the other one. The other one was just oh. looking all up in all my boxes. <laughs> I thought. <laughs> I thought I had a box <laughs> of stone. Oh boy. Oh no, because oh, that's no, over by the building site too. I left everything over there. Fine. What do you need? No, nothing right now. I'll get it later. Okay. Over here. Okay. And up here. Wait. You want the train station going to the top of your base? I was thinking about it. Okay. Oh, I don't do good with stairs. Dude. Well, if we're going to show off stuff. Yeah. But I mean, if we're going to go to the tallest point in the map, we'd have to go to my base. Ooh. For a little bit. Um, Technically, aren't we tied right now? Hey, Mr. Um, Crosswalker. Hey. Oh, jeez. Can you stop that? Thank you. So, somebody forgot that they have their Frostwalker boots on. I did. I do that a lot. You seem to do that a lot. Did you break the water source that was here? I don't know anymore. <laughs> I'll go get some ice. <laughs> <We're apart. laughs> okay, so where, where do you want this rail coming in? Bad. Oh. Are you kidding me? We. I'm not good at this. This one. Oh. Ow. Oh, so you wanted to come in the middle here? Uh, I think so. so. So what? Have it swing out over... The river there, and then come in this side here where we're standing. Yeah, I think that'd look pretty, and that way you get to see all the stuff. Okay. Okay. You didn't say I was supposed to make it easy. Unless you think it'd be better for it to go into the bottom of the temple, so you have to come up the temple. Uh, that That is as soon as you figure out a full working way up here. Well, the bottom's still going to be how you enter. But to that end, then the rail could just stop there, and this junction could be how to get to my base, because my base is, like, literally right here. Yeah, that's why I was wondering about putting the base there. Like, right there, like that. That's okay. Mine can be at the junction. Um, which one of these did I mess up? All of them. Could well, you I wouldn't not say that while you're in my base. Well, I'm trying to fix that water that I oh, messed I up. Oh, I fixed it already. Oh, why did I? 
<laughs> uh, just keep the ice on you. It's not like, you know, we won't need it later. It's not like you won't mess it up again later. Hey, you can sleep while you're there. I am sleeping. Oh. All right, so where near your Dwarven Fortress is yours going to go? Uh, well, hang on. Um, so we're going to have the station here. Are we going to do yeah. two rails? Like one coming in, one going out? Because that would make this a lot easier. We're going to do whatever's going to make it easier. Okay. So we're going to have a rail come two lines. I'm not throwing down two blocks. Okay. Coming out this way and then going up to that middle piece. Well, again, if the goal is for it to also be a fun touristy thing, then yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, what about you, Arcadius? Where are we going to take this line from here? Straight over to the mouth of the cave? Like, um... Could do that. Could go up and around the mountain some, or bring it into the bay on the backside. Or by the lighthouse. Or by the lighthouse, yeah. You have a few options over here. Okay. That doesn't answer the question. Well, asking y'all's opinion, which one do you think would be better? We could avoid the tunnel altogether and bring it out around towards Lighthouse and then around that little cape right there. Basically where Rest is swimming. Ah. Or... Because I know we did initially talk about bringing it into this mountain over here. Yeah, that's when I was going to uh, suggest digging the tunnel straight through and throwing them out right here in front of my bridge. Okay. Like make an L-shaped underground tunnel with the doorway coming out right here. And then all they had to do is come off onto the path and across the bridge. But that would require um, basically digging a small tunnel all the way back down towards the junction. We're going over there. You want it underground, not overground? Well, that was yeah. That was the idea was to go underground with this one. Okay. But if overground is what we're after, then I would say take it around the Cape is probably the better option. I mean, if you want yours underground, you want yours to be more of a surprise moment, we can do that. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll, uh... Then we just go in this way. And make the hole. Mm, where are you? Oh, like there? Yeah, what were you thinking? I was thinking that the initial leg would be just a straight shot that way, and then another straight shot coming in like this way, still underground. But we want it overground for at least this part, otherwise what's the point? True enough. Okay. So, okay. the entrance point would be... So, yeah, you want so the it'll be there? overground yeah. until we get to here where I got the stone bricks. And then we okay. poke a hole in the hill here. Like a hole. Okay. 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 Well, I will. I will gut the hole out while y'all uh, figure out marks on or uh, marking out the next uh, couple of lines. And that's a little too centered on the uh, the walking path, though. Well, yeah, because we're not going to run the rail over the walking path. We can't. You can't put rail oh. on a path block. 
Besides, okay. I was going to elevate the rail a little bit, so it's not going to be sitting on the ground anyway. Okay. So I'll run it. Oop, dang it. I'll fix that later. How, how high are we elevating the rail? Uh, I, I wasn't... I wasn't originally going to go too, too high. High enough that you could walk under it if you wanted to. But not, like, super high, because I really didn't feel like doing all the, uh... All the redstone power to get you up a massive... <laughs> a massive hill. Okay. So, what, two blocks up? Alright, uh since that line's going that way that line's going that way I have a crazy many, question many since crazy we're questions going for, since we're going for elevation because it allows us to see the buildings is mm -hmm. it redstone wise easier to just do it on the ground here on this level because you can still see everything and it's actually further back, so you can see everything a little bit better. Um, no easier or harder. Because okay. no matter what, like even if we put the station here, you, you've still got to power up the hill to get to the station from both of the bases. Oh. And I still got to go power it up the hill to mine as well. Um, I'll probably okay. swing my line over the lake there. And then try to finish it Please up. Please tell me yours is going to go around back by the waterfall. Actually, you should take it into the waterfall. I wasn't planning on it, but... uh. Oh, how do you like some of the light features hiding up under the uh, shrubbery? That's cute. Does it light it enough? So far, it seems to have. That's why I had to add a couple of them. Because my original... Uh, spacing was good so long as everything was clear. <laughs> and then when I put a massive building in there and some trees, it kind of really uh, made things a little difficult. Is there a reason your horses are like ultra protected and then your llamas are like all inhumanely without even shelter, like tethered to the same post? Well, they're tethered to the same post because for whatever reason, I, I couldn't get them to stay separated. Like, I'd put three on the other side, and they'd stretch their lead as far as they could to stand with the other three. So, those three would be chilling over there, and whatever three I put on that side would stand here. Okay. As they're trying to join the group. So, that's when I said, forget it. Fine. Be together. See if I care. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, I guess I could put, you know, an overhang of some sort over them. I'll come back around and do that a little bit later. <laughs> so, so, what? A little bit later, that's like code for in two months or so. <laughs> nah. So what, maybe I should put the, uh, Ooh. Maybe if I just knock this hill back further than I already have. Since, you know, I'm already shaving it away. And just... Just put it back here somewhere. So you get off on the rail line back over here. Uh, except for the trees. I'll have to do something about the trees. I'm just thinking it'd be cool to be able to come by and see the waterfall. Yeah. I guess I'll have to build some more stuff over here <laughs> and make the waterfall a little more central. Because as it is, I mostly use the cabin at the base. And uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the castle up at the top when I finish. Or what finish is it even going to look like. Well, what if it came and it didn't stop at the waterfall? What if it came and went... E Whoops. Yep. Oh, okay, what, to the back door um, of the castle? Yep, and came back to the main entrance over here. Ooh. 
but that way you got to go by and see the waterfall and everything. And then you've got plenty of space up here to put the landing. Oh, so drop the station over here at the back door? Yeah. Okay, I might do that. And then voila, you have a front door now. I do have a front door on the other side. No, this that would make it effectively the front door. And then you can push your little doorbell. You can put a music block and make it make it like a sound. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know that I want to go poking around in there because I forgot where all the redstone was. So that seems like a good enough plan. Okay. So bring it back. Of course, this hill is actually going to come out to somewhere by where the stairs are. So I might have to push this one back and put the station here-ish. Cool. So I'll just have to throw that back a little bit more. I never liked it there anyway, so... But I'm just thinking, again, if it's, yeah. you know, as much aesthetic as it is function, then it might be nice to... <laughs> Actually, if I line. did that, I might be able to run another line from behind where I'm at around the mountain to Arcadius's place. That could be super cool. Speaking of, please, somebody sleep. I thought he did. I'm already on it. <laughs> Launch <laughs> oh, oh. And then we can make it a full circle. <laughs> we always do seem to come full circle. And then I don't have to keep using these stupid rockets. What do you mean stupid rockets? I suck at these like a lot. So did Green when he started. I think I suck at them harder than Green did. Ooh, and if you come back this way, then you get to see his planes. Oh, we're talking about from the back side of the castle? Uh-huh. All right, so we... Oh, come on. So we come from this station back by the two ice farms. And then cut back across. Maybe take it down to the same station in the ground. Yeah, we, we can make that work. Cool. Now, how are we going to make it pretty? Uh, let me... <laughs> let me figure out some track first. Okay. Here is the next question, though. What is going to be the build palette? Are we going to do this out of stone brick? Are we going to do this out of lumber? Are we... I can't decide that until I see how much space it takes up, because that kind of determines, like, if I want it to look really dainty and light, or if I want it to look really fat. I'm thinking something sturdy. I was originally going to do um, stone brick, since we have tons and tons of stone. <coughs> But it should be something that doesn't blend in with any of our bases. True. And Stonewood's going to blend in with at least two of them. All right. Three if we um, count in the uh, iron farm in the middle down there. Yeah. How about quartz? No one is building with white. Oof. That's a lot of That's quartz. That's a lot of quartz. You ready to go end busting? <laughs> uh, nether uh, hunting. Or nether busting or whatever. Well, I already have one shulker full of quartz, so I mean, what's... what's okay, in... so that would take care of, like, uh, an inch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unless you want to do quartz pillars and a different material for where the actual rail lines down. Yeah, I hadn't thought of the pillar uh, for the elevation. The, the, uh, well, on, so... Pillars. so um, <clears throat> so instead of stone brick 
We have about maybe this high. We got our line. We got our line. We got a fancy something coming up the side. But I mean, obviously, we use some stairs or something on the, for the side decoration. So the rail is going to come one side this way, one side this way. Do we really need a two-way rail? Um, I think so. Okay. If we're going to do it, let's let's do yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. Also, do you really want to be at my base and need to get to your base, and the only way to do it is going around an on's base? Yeah. I was thinking more of uh, as we start potentially looking at new newer people and giving them a chance to try stuff out. We want to start planning. Uh, you know, the whole thing with the bigger bases and bigger builds was planning for the future. So let's start by working out our uh, techniques for two-way rails. I got an idea. Uh -oh. I'll be right back. I know. It's awesome. Uh oh. Doors. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. So the uh, the pillar in the main bases where we got the stone brick would be quartz, but the actual material running uh, this way would be something different, something a little easier to get a hold of. The question would be, what's going to blend with the quartz? But actually... Oh, we were going for something easier to get a hold of? Do we have a set of stairs? Hold on. Do we have a stair? I don't have a... Not in there. Oh, you don't have a crafting table? No, I do. Hold on. Bam. There you go. <laughs> Fine, then. I'll take my crafting table and go home. <laughs> I didn't pull out my shulker box and everything for nothing. <laughs> well, I mean... Oop, wrong way. Okay, so we want that to be there? So we want some sort of fence there. in the middle. Something for the rail lines to sit on. And then some sort of decoration for the safety wall. Yep, 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 yep. We got the farm. Do we want to just build it all out of iron? <laughs> Actually, I don't have. Oh, because we don't have them yet. Never mind. What? Talking about the brick wall? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, we no. we're not on one point fourteen yet. And I know we mentioned it like before we went live, but just so that way it's uh, clearly stated for yeah you know, record keeping purposes. After Iskal and Azuma posted on Twitter today. Uh, some of the problems that they were having with um, some chunks randomly resetting. Uh, <laughs> Iskal blatantly said, I do not recommend to any of my followers to update. <laughs> and hey, does anyone have my um, dark oak plank things? Did I put talking about the weird? Trapdoors? Yes. Uh, I think I tossed them in a box somewhere. Oh no, I just pulled them out and I think I put them in the wrong box. Hold on. Holding on. Yeah, that could be doable. That's right, because we got the quartz slabs already anyway. We got the quartz stairs already anyway. And then what? Run uh, the... Iron railing? One second while I finish getting this out of my head. Do, do, oh, do. this won't take long. No, not at all. <laughs> er, er, er. Okay, good job. And there we go. Um, either iron railing or it can actually be whatever kind of fence we want to use. Uh, cobblestone wall probably wouldn't be too bad. Mix in some moss stone with it. Um, yeah. But that's the general idea. 
Or maybe I think, uh, the, uh, I think the cobblestone wall for the outside, the and then either the metal for the middle or glass panes. Yep, glass panes was another one I was thinking of. Something to give it the the top end a little bit lighter yeah. feel, so it doesn't look like this little column here is trying to hold up this massive chunk of uh, <laughs> stone, which is what it looked like a minute ago. Also, with this design, that block would be completely hidden, so we could actually throw down a redstone block. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I was planning on it. Setting, yeah, these these bricks are not as spaced as the actual supports are going to be. I'm going to put the supports about as far apart as you can and keep the power and a reasonable reasonable <laughs> speed. I, I don't want it to be like the uh, the railing that we set up for the end portal on our last server. You know, where you set yourself down and went to make a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> well, that was also an extremely long line, too. We should have done that in the nether. <laughs> yeah, should have. We should have done a lot of things. <laughs> yeah, there, there was no reason for what we did. Okay, we don't have. Any oh quartz. yeah, there was. This could be iron or quartz, whichever goes better. I was thinking quartz though, but so just imagine there's quartz here. Yeah, that's what we were talking about. So we'll do either quartz or the quartz pillar block. Um, run that up, <laughs> or. Or do we want to do the purple box? <laughs> do the entire line purple? Sure. Because nobody's building with it. Nope. Although it up. will stick out like a sore thumb. I mean. Well, anything's going to stick out like a sore thumb, especially on a map. I mean, even what we've done now is going to stick out pretty bad when we go to update yeah. these maps. See, <laughs> are, are you are you thinking about actually using the prismarine for this? Uh huh. As was long as she that doesn't that nobody uses, but that we can access pretty regularly or pretty easily. Well, I use a ton of that, but not anywhere near oh, here. You also generate a ton of it too. <laughs> True. So um, as far as resources, and we can also shrink that down because there are yeah because um, we can still brick use stairs the, uh, and brick stairs slabs, and slabs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. are you wanting to use the uh the iron or is that just pillaring that's supposed uh, to be quartz I mean, that's quartz imagine it's quartz hmm okay two seconds all right, I'll nap while you think about it. Well, we don't need to think about it. I have a box full of quartz. We can just throw the quartz down so we can see what it looks like. Ah. <laughs> yeah, all my quartz is back at my base. I can't remember. How do you make pillars? Because I have two, and that's not going to uh, be enough for You that. stack slabs on top of each other. Ah, okay, so I do have tons of that, though. Slabs it. No, I want those. Pick those back up. Hmm. How many? Because mm -hmm. that gives you a chiseled. Oh. Uh, no. Two two slabs on top of each other gives you chiseled. It's, uh, oh no! It's two uh, blocks of quartz on top. One block on top of the other gives you the pillar. Got it. Okay. Don't need you, don't need you. Let's go back. Okay, so we can get rid of this. I keep getting the chiseled in the other one. Boom. Actually, Actually, we would be able to put sea lanterns in there too. Maybe uh, not at the base, but one or two blocks up. So that way we would have some lighting built into this that doesn't look out of place. Go ahead and shrink that down to. Mm, I don't have slabs or stairs on me. I don't think. Hold on. Holding on. Do I? No. I Here. Don't. 
try and get them though. You did not hear very well. Oh? No. Okay. <coughs> so that one goes th now. Other way. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Get it eventually. There we are. Boom. I think the quartz looks a little weird, though. What, as the support for this? Yeah. I think that particular quartz. I think maybe smooth quartz? The stripes look weird going into the stone-looking stuff. Well, we could change that out to... Yeah, I don't like the clear glass. The clear glass wouldn't work. The white isn't bad. Yeah, because the white will also um, mix with the quartz well, even if we don't yeah. do the pillar. Yeah, here, I'll swap the pillar out. What do y'all want instead? Smooth or regular? Try smooth. Smooth. <laughs> yeah, smooth I got it. Slaps? Uh, Ooh, geez. Too good of a uh, pickaxe here. Boom. No, okay. You don't have to yeah. worry about leaving the brick there. That was just more of a visual line. Oop. Too much. That's smooth. Now in this one, I don't think it has a different texture until we go to 14. Uh, if you're if you're using the server resource pack, you should see the 1.14 texture. Yeah, I don't see a difference because one is smooth, the other one is this one off to the side here is supposed to be just regular quartz. Ah, yeah, I'm not seeing a difference there. But I do have these. I don't know that this is going to work. It'll give it a weird little texturizing pattern. I actually don't mind that. Hmm. What, using the uh, chiseled quartz? Correct, but I kind of think I would like better doing... Putting the lamp a little bit higher up. Oh, you just want the symmetry. Yes. Hey, I'm all for that because the more lamps we put in, the easier it is to get resources. <laughs> well, it's two things. It's, it's more lighting, but I also feel like adding the extra green in the stem makes it blend better with the top. Yeah, yeah. No, no. The, I think we have a winner. We'll leave this up so I've got a uh, reference design. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah, we'll leave this up so I get a reference design, and we're definitely going to go with the white glass panes. Are we going to use that for all three, or just the center wall? I would say just the center. Give me two seconds. Yeah. Um, and what we can do is we can leave the glass panes in just the center, and then leave the sides empty for now. Just because, and leave it, um, so that way when we do finally upgrade, we can use the prismarine wall for the outer edges. But then you can't see it. The point was being able to see off the sides. That was white glass. It was. I was looking at something real quick. No, the whole point is to be able to see. Yep, you're right. It didn't look right anyway. Oh, by the way, here's your... Or do we want to do uh, light blue? I don't know. I just... put the teal in the middle. From under here, it looks a little heavy. Oh, especially well, as we extend heavy. that out. Do what? It, the, the platform just looks heavy... 
let me here let me have that uh that resources i just tossed at you I don't need those or those or those. I don't want them. I don't either. But no, leave that there. I needed that. Leave what were? The fence? Yeah, that was my marker. Ah. That and that. No. That and that. We'll have that to be there. Close that down. Close that down. Do that there. And then we're gonna bring this. Lock. What, do two pillars? One under each rail? No. 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 Not unless you were to throw another quartz pillar block in the middle and then do the rest of the stem like we had it. Like something similar to that? Uh... Yet. Fix that design up there, because I like that height better. Are those not the same height? No, no they were not. Uh, that's what I was working with here. Off you go. Do something like that. <laughs> and then have your floor design instead of that one. So it's got a little bit more of a taper to it. Yeah, that could actually work better. Because originally it was just the fact that that seemed a little too heavy, top heavy for what we had holding it up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I can't fly for nothing today. Okay. Today? Hey, hey, hey. Actually, okay. So, what design did I have? It was solid. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. I'm spitballing I here. I don't idea. remember what I did. Yeah, okay, well, you go. Your turn. <laughs> I tried. You go. Oh, you didn't like those uh, extra stairs there? Um, I like the concept, but it has an itter. Because the other thing I was thinking of is that would allow us to remove that quartz block, the chiseled quartz block, and put a power source there for the rails. And that way we don't have redstone sticking out. We could power the block above it, and that would power the rails. Oh no, I may still do that. Hiding, I just try hiding that, the, uh, the actual redstone. Give me the block. It will not give me the stair. Oh, because I have no room. That's a very good reason. Usually. I don't know. <coughs> Sleepy time. Are you seriously using uh, lamps for scaffolding? Maybe. Are you seriously asking me that? Maybe. Pass me, please. Um, more court stairs.
Is there a reason why we have a map over here? Uh, because it's trash. It's trash? Yeah. Okay. That's one of the things I gotta put in the uh, storage area, too. Garbage disposal. What's that? Garbage disposal. Lines for dropping all the stuff you want destroyed. So instead of uh, creating lag. Yeah, so what we could do is we could actually put a redstone lever there. Power that block and then hide the lever in whatever design you're doing. And that way we get we get power for our rails without having obvious redstone. You're not going to set the stair the other way? Yeah, I meant for it to go the other way. Ah. I'm not a good with stairs. Not good with flying, not good with stairs. Hey, I make some shit pretty. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa, family friendly rating over here. Not insult the pretty. I think Prismarine would look better now on that side, maybe? Or do Prismarine on the sides? Oh, so it's uh, Prismarine stairs on top of each other? Maybe. Or do you just Prismarine on the sides and just green in the middle? I hear Jubba in somebody's microphone. He's Sometimes cute. he's cute. See? Yeah, I should not be the one doing this. <laughs> is your uh, pickaxe a little too efficient? It is. It's like obscenely efficient. Levery. Oop, nope. Wee. <laughs> uh, I don't think the scaffolding blocks are going to help you. Oh, uh, I know because I can't pick it up because I'm out of space. Who wants some stuff? Hey, look. Three glass planes. We know we're not going to use those. <laughs> Lever. And what did I say was good there? The prismarine stair. Like that. Do we need the extra layer at this point? Or do we just go like? Uh, where are some of the prismarine slabs and stairs? Actually, go ahead and trade the block right there above that stair for a for actual a solid block. block. Yeah. yeah. And then put the stair down, see if that... And does it even need to be quartz at this point? Um, I think we're, we're going to want the variety in there. And it'll help it blend into the quartz pillar. Okay. Alright. Although since these don't have the chisel texture, does it look better if that's smooth? I don't know. Let's grab some smooth and throw that in there too. I kind of like that the quartz texture adds a little variety. Okay, so what if we did... Ooh. Hey, stairs appear. So 
subtle variety. Okay. Yeah, I could go for that. Yeah, that could work. What do we think about the footing? I like it. I think it gives it a little bit more stability. Looks more like an hourglass figure. Yeah. Doesn't now, it looks like one of those subject. puzzles I've got on the bookshelf there, you know, where you got the 82 pieces of uh, something that you got to intricately Ooh, fit together. That? I like that from the simple fact that it means we got to collect less quartz because then we don't have to have a block there. Yeah. <laughs> we, we can just do <laughs> Actually. <laughs> can't we uh, put another light source back here and pull that one down out of the way or no? Nah, because it messes well, up. Well, we're going to want the light there anyway. We're going to want the light there, and I like that it kind of ties the prismarine at the top into the bottom. Yeah, the white and the green. Okay. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be our pillar template, and then what will extend the solid block <laughs> stair and slab motif out between the two pillars. Or coming off that platform do we want just slabs all the way across I think slabs all the way across so we get a thin platform coming down down the line yeah I think that's going to make it look a lot more balanced we do attach there we go I think that looks way more balanced, and I think the kind of the different intricacies make it blend a little bit better. I like, I kind of like the thing that you're talking about, like it looks like a puzzle piece. Okay. We, we might okay. add a little more detail as we go. Um, so I keep wanting to put something in the middle to, I don't know. Well, let's go with this for now. It's not like we can't add later. Hey, hand me a uh, hand me one stair of the prismarine stairs. Oh, Reyes has it. I think I know where I'm going to be AFKing while I'm at work. No, nah, I'll be there. Too much. And then just continue that flat all the way out to the next uh, tower. I kind of think that added too much to it. Yeah. What do you guys think? I don't know. That could work. That's a stair instead of a slab. Yeah, that's all it was. Okay. Now you can change it back down here. Let me see it back again. Yeah, leave, leave it one way on one side and the other way on the other. There you go. Because don't forget, that's extending out five wide all the way down the line. Those pillars are going to be, what, 16, 16 blocks away? No, more than give or take. How far apart are they going to be? Uh, they're they're going to be a fair ways apart because one one powered block will power out eight What's in that? each direction. Whoopsie! And depending on how much of that you want unpowered between, yeah. I'll have to play with that to see what kind of speed and whatnot. Or we just power the entire thing. Yeah, we could do no, that too. Bearing in mind that it's going to get spread out significantly further, I do think I like it with the three now. With the extra stair. Can you put the extra stair back? Yeah, once because you see it in the context of a platform. That direction. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I do like that because it's wider okay. out that way, so. That makes sense. What about that there? No, I like it being just on the one side. because Longer, not wider. 
Yep, exactly. Gotcha. I like it, you know, okay. kind of matching that the different length. Okay. No, you're right. That's nice. All right. So we got our basic routes planned out. We're going to make the central hub. <laughs> Instead of moving the map, we ought to figure out. I, I need to fix. Uh, I'll build the floor and the redstone. Reyes can build the building over it. And then Arcadius can work on integrating the map into one of the walls. Okay. So you'll you'll walk into oh, the yeah, central the station, central and uh, you'll have the map. Or actually, why don't I bury the map in the floor and put a glass uh, pane over the top of it? You can do that, but uh, I'm gonna need some of the floor for the redstone too. Hmm. Uh, unless you want to duplicate this map, because I think there's going to be some space in the center where you could actually put uh, the map in the center central area. Well, let's see what if kind of floor space that, we have, yeah. and then I'll figure it out. I'm sorry, what'd you say? If you do that, can make sure it's oriented correctly? <laughs> Okay. Because, like, right now, technically, it should face the other direction, so that, like... Actually, I what's our... Your base is over there. Oh, okay. I see what you mean now. So, so if you're looking, looking at the map facing it... It's that big blue block right there. Hmm. I really think we should maybe. So, in other words, you turn ledge. this upside down on this side, which would put Correct. Arcadius's base at the bottom. Yep. Yeah. So you take. I really do think it might need to go up here, though. Oh, well, let's see what let's kind see. of let's see what kind of room we have in the station. Because it is getting really close and big, and it's going to look kind of ugly on the map. Whereas up here, there isn't anything, and it solves some of our lighting issues up here. Oh, by having a big, big lit map? Yep. And being further back from the coffee pot, you can see the coffee pot better, and all the different things. Oh, not only that, but the, the lantern at the bottom would help light up some of this up here. Okay. Yeah, build the uh, build the full welcome station like you did on the last server, with the little lights in the overhang. Maybe we'll throw a couple of box guest boxes <laughs> with a little bit of starter gear. <laughs> Here's your leather armor and wooden sword. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. <laughs> so oh, wait, no, so no, then wait. if it goes on the ledge, it'll come up here, and then it will go... Oh, and this... I, I am going to tear down this oak tree. I just needed oak wood. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, gotcha. that is not a permanent fixture. That is me needing oak okay. wood. So it'll go to the edge here, and the welcome center will be up here now, or the welcome center will go just... The rail will go down here, or there will be stairs from it as a platform. Well, that was the question, because if we're putting, if we're putting the state, or do we want to put the station up on that corner? It could look cool on this corner. Because a lot of this can get pulled to the side. Which this can get pulled to the side. Um, that line, the, where the, where we got the rails initially going... We could mm -hmm. run that straight from where that oak tree is. Yeah. And go straight. It went is without this too much right adjustment. Here big enough? That is going to be the question. I'm going to have to review the video to see just what size footprint we're looking for because I think it might be a little bit bigger than what we got fair, room for. We can go out a little bit more here. We've got yeah. room. Yeah, we, we can, uh, instead of uh, tapering this off, we could have a nice overhang. Oh. Yeah, I think I like that better. Oh, Java. 
Seriously. Mm. Somebody uh relaxed a little too much over here. He's very relaxed. Oh, he certainly is. Okay, all the wood's been picked up. There you go. Okay, awesome. You still have wood in there, but it's been chopped, so... Yeah. All you gotta do is wait for it to fall or climb around and get it. Okay, where was I? Are you rebuilding the railway up here? Yeah, that was the looks. question we were contemplating. Ports. I just need sixteen saplings. Supposed to be blank, so. Okay, good. Go through some of my stairs and stuff. Hmm, I tossed them at you. Oh, are you tearing that down to rebuild it over here? I'm not tearing it down, I'm just okay. building one on the side to see how it looks. Oh, just to see how it looks on the, on the hill? Yep. Okay. It's not like we don't need the resources created anyway. <laughs> True. Of course, that's going to be a pretty sharp incline to go up from here over this path already. Yeah, we can make that work. Push comes to shove, I'll just make a slime block launcher. I mean, uh, an elevator. <laughs> Just make sure you don't eat 30 minutes before riding the ride. I think it's all the more fun for having a couple of loop de loos in there. Eating some fish sticks. Yeah, I'm so you, sick you know of we're fish. About, you, you know we're about to have a whole lot more, right? No. Matter of, fact, Matter of fact, before I start working on any of this, I need to go upgrade the uh, storage in your... <laughs> or you need to upgrade the storage in your uh, guardian farm there. No. One of us no. needs to. Wait, I'll next? do it tomorrow. <laughs> Hey, someone help me replicate this thing. I don't know. Seem to be doing alright. Mm-hmm. I don't remember what's next. Everything out from that point is half slabs except for the stair on the outer sides. super confused. I didn't see you guys to the top. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see it now. Here, let me see a set of stairs. Okay, so it was... Stair there. Stair there. Mm. Stair there. Stair there. Nope. Mm-hmm. Trust me. And everything else is half slab. There you go. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. I just looked. You can go look yourself if you don't believe me. Oh, he is sure. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. And that is I it. I think you got a couple more get... stairs in there. Yeah, you got a couple more stairs in there. No, that's it. No, because this corner is weird right here. Okay, yeah. Mm -mm. That's the design. You did solid blocks down the middle, stairs down the sides, and then slabs off of that. Then we sub those no, in for that might be right. blocks. Yep. Mm-hmm. Three solids surrounded on all sides by stairs. Yep. Now, do we want to mix in any of the regular prismarine stuff, or are we sticking with the uh, prismarine brick? Um, um, I want to mix in some real prismarine. I was actually thinking about that earlier. But I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, I how. don't I don't want to overcomplicate it, but uh I don't know if we want to use that maybe as the trim for the outer edge. Like just do the regular prismarine slabs on the out on the outside where the wall's going. Let me go get that. That could work. Or a strip down the center. Either one could work. As long as we don't start playing with dark prismarine. Uh no. No dark prismarine. Honestly, I think the entire thing would be beautiful in dark prismarine. Uh, but no, I, I would I would love some dark prismarine uh, elements. Don't hear don't hear what I'm not saying. But until we get that ink farm going, which is also on our let me write that down before I forget again. <laughs> oh wait, regular prismarine? No, regular prismarine's ugly. Okay, so you don't like the pebbly prismarine? No, I didn't realize that was the pebbly one. I thought it was the square one that you guys were talking about. The square one? Yeah, it's got little squares in it. It's, she's talking about dark prismarine. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> the dark prismarine is the one that takes a lot of ink sacks. Oh, no, I already called dibs on all those. <laughs> you notice I put iron doors on the uh, storage unit? <sighs> I am preparing for the saddens. Say that again? I am preparing for the sad guys. No, before that. I was trying to sleep in my bed and Arcadius jumped in ahead of me. It was awkward. Oh, I asked if you saw iron doors. <laughs> iron doors on, on the, the storage, storage area? Unit. Yeah, I saw that. Yep. Yep. Uh, we're also going to want to start thinking about fences and stuff for the pillager raids coming up. Like what kind of area we want to fence in. That'll also help us uh, figure out how much lighting we're going to add to what we've done already. Well, to be honest, this also was partially, I thought this would be a great place to uh, shoot people from. <laughs> from the rail? Oh, yeah. Wait, what is this? The yeah. new uh, shooting game? Heck Yeah. As you're riding down the minecart, shoot the pillager. Three, two, yep. one. Bad omen. And then I put the green one in the middle because it's pretty. The green one what? The green glass. Come on. Up. Fly. Or not. Uh, I think we're also going to need to spring for one more gig of RAM on the server. It won't okay. be that much extra, but... I'm done with that. Alright, uh... Oh, oh, you got cyan got... down the center. Yeah. Okay. It's pretty. It ain't cheap either. Nope. That's why it's only down the center. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I guess our. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I was going to put an industrial smelter in the community area. Because we're going to need to cook up a lot of glass. 
to make all these rails. Mm, got you covered. Oh, I like that way better. Come look at the map. What? Yeah, it's off in the no man's land. Not where we... Ah, it takes yeah. that takes that big blue block out of the uh, lawn and puts it off on the side. Okay. I would almost be tempted. <clears throat> How about we... Instead of coming over the path right here, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. from this point right here at this uh, junction station here, why don't we dive it straight down under this path and bring it out to the station down here like we were originally going to do. So leave the station where we had originally blocked it out. Mm -hmm. But bring that uh, okay. railway under this pathway here so that way the rail never interferes with any of the pathways throughout the entire map. Well, that was going to be the plan either way, to bring it over or under, but I believe, I thought the preference was towards going over rather than under. The preference is going towards over because I want the moment where you come over here and you see my castle in the sky. <laughs> well, that's the whole point. You come across and you're seeing your castle in the sky, this like demonic fortress of doom, and all yeah, of a sudden you get swallowed by the earth. For me, it's not loaded over here. Oh, well, I've got your entire base loaded. Yeah. For me, it doesn't load over here. For me, it doesn't really for a load until about here. No. We need to and even then, I can't see the third PC. thing. <laughs> you need to get a new PC. But I am totally cool with it if we want it coming over here and sloping down into here if you guys want. And it's still being in this empty space because this is a good empty space. I need to space out those fire pits on my base a little bit more, too. And finish getting that line going down. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Adding in the uh, stuff I just did. That podzel patch is a little weird. I might uh, switch that back out for grass. I was just feeling kind of lazy and didn't want to redig it back up again. And again. And again. Oh, someone else grabbed that oh. map. Not me. It was me. Have you thought about connecting your pawn to the one that's here? Yeah, that was one of the things I was thinking about doing, but doing it as a uh, cavern under there. Hmm, okay. So that would connect into the river. There, there was some reason why I'd second-guessed that, but I don't remember what that was now. That kind of bothers me a little bit, but uh, yeah. I like the way that little, uh, little swampy area looks on the map. Yeah. Yeah. So when are you, okay. uh, when are you, you going to finish that lighthouse? No. <laughs> Just it's as soon as I'm done awkward. digging up a ton of uh, quartz, apparently. I do have some at the base. Okay. Well, so you saw all this box. I mean, I've got, yeah, no. To build the pillars so that I can start building you a foundation. Yeah. Figure, figure out um, how much quartz you're willing to donate to the community project and toss it in the community center. I'll do the same. Because uh, I definitely want to try to keep a little bit more on hand. I'm not well, sure what you I'm want do with it that. Because that is all the central pillar stuff. There, no, you go put it away. I'm not putting it away for you. <laughs> let, me run, let me run over here away from... <laughs> To safety. Well, stop putting this iron in here. I'm gonna put your iron away. <laughs> she runs away. Oh, no, she's there. That is not where iron goes. This is a quartz box. You come back here. 
We're going up there anyway. <laughs> Fine. Because we're going to need the regular blocks of quartz, right? Mm -mm. You need chiseled and stairs. That's all we used of uh, all quartz. That's chiseled and stairs. Mm-hmm. I'm going to leave that it in blocks cool to make point. the stairs, and I will... Yeah. Actually, I'm going to because we can't put a shulker. Yeah. I'm going to put a shulker on the ground floor, right in the entrance area, that's got all the donations for this project. I'll be honestly surprised if you need more of the chiseled, because I'm giving... Quite a chunk of it. Oh. You did add a fair number of workstations in here, didn't you? Yep. Organics the second floor? Which one's the second floor? Second floor is train. Well, it depends on which way you're calling second, but anyway. Precious. Okay, so we have quartz stairs. The chiseled quartz, right? We need prismarine slabs. Bricks. Prismarine stairs. Okay. There's a green shulker on the ground floor. Okay. And that's going to be all the quartz for this project. That's everything I'm donating for the project. What else ah. do we need for the project? So it's got a ton in it. Uh, we need white stained glass. That should be more than enough sea lanterns for the pillars. White stained glass. Oop, we need the... Cyan stained glass. Glass. What makes cyan again? Lapis and green. Get that That's part of why it's so expensive. I have a ton of that dye if you need it. What, the cyan? Which one? Yeah. Yeah, I got yeah, tons I of bone meal for the white. Conservative guess how many stacks do you think you need? Of cyan. She wants to you run sure cyan glass panes down, down the center of this center. entire track. Okay, so not that much actually. Let's see here. Two, three, four, five, six stacks? Yeah. Do oh, you. we need one for sea lanterns and rails. Okay. Well, you need power rails too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Don't worry about the rails. I totally got the rails. If you guys can get the pillars together. I just gave a ton of yeah. rails yeah. also. Yeah, but I'm making storage for all of this. Lanterns. Rails. Powered rails. Okay. Just have a bad guy in the face. Where? How far apart do they need to be? That's one of the things that I need to figure out. Because I want to add just enough powered rail that you keep a decent speed, but uh, not so much that you're just constantly hitting pillars. Okay, so I will need you to figure that out so that I can make all the pillars. 
Yeah. Probably ought to close up that hole. Down we go. Um, okay. There's a zombie mm -hmm. with a pumpkin on his head down there. Moving right along. <laughs> I, I don't know where he came from, and I'm... I, no, I just... I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Where are you guys? Uh, somebody's over at the zombie spawner. Rast is I over am. at the zombie spawner. I need levels. Ah. Alright, I gotta drop and this I lumber go off at my fishies. base real quick. How is the spider farm? Is it any better? I actually haven't tried it since we upgraded servers. I may do that I mean, in a little bit. It, it was a little bit better than the zombie spawner before. So I would imagine that since we've gotten better performance out of the zombie farm, we would get better performance out of that as well. Yeah, but will they kill me? Well, oh, this is Minecraft. Shit. Everything will kill you. I mean, as long as you're using the farm appropriately, no, they shouldn't. But, That's what you told me about the last one. Well, if you're using the fish farm appropriately, they shouldn't be able to... The angry fish are angry. They don't like me. They don't like anyone. Yeah. Given half a chance, they don't like each other. Yeah, that too. After all that work to do a pallet, did we want it to blend into the forest and do it all woodsy? Uh, <laughs> no. Only because you don't want to go through that again? Partly. And partly <laughs> because I would like it to stand out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I thought that was the whole point was to have it stand out. The whole futuristic kind of vibe to it. So where do you want me to put the shulker down at? What, for all the community project? Just yep. put it in the it's center of the community storage. Do you have one to add to it? For... I, I just added it's a it. bunch of ports to your box already. Yeah, the box is full. I need to put more stuff Hold in on. it. <laughs> I'm getting the things to need these boxes. How did I get a potato? Uh, some of the zombies drop them. How do you think I got the potatoes from my farm? The unsuspecting they, they were kindly they were donated. donated. Yep. Alright, so that's going to go there. Actually, do you mind if I f fill in a little bit of the swamp? Someone spell qu Hello? What was the question? Someone spell quart. Q-U-A-R-T-Z. Okay. Or G-O-O-G-L-E. Quart stairs, and what was the other one? Uh, chiseled. How do you spell it? Goodness. C-H-I-S-E-L-E-D. Can you go look? The edge. I-S-E-L-E-D. Uh, yeah. I-E-S or S-E? C-H-I-S-E-L-E-D. Alright, I might fill in a little bit of the corner of the swamp here. Just so I can move the okay. station over a little bit. 
Okay. It's not it's not going to be any further out than the coastline actually is. You know, where it starts dropping off to more than one deep. So I'll keep it within that area. Frostwalker boots. Dude, they help so much. Oh, they help to get to your base. Super That's, big. you know, I'm not denying that. <laughs> I, I have a spare set that I keep in my armory box just, you know, just in case that I use when I run out to the guardian farm. But yeah, walking around out there, doing any kind of work around the outer edge, it's so helpful. Anywhere else, it gets me into so much trouble. You mean like going up somebody's water elevator? When it doesn't have uh, bubbles, yeah, yeah, it can it can what cause are the problems. Rails called? Powered? I don't. No, the regular rails. Are they just rails? Yeah, they're just rails. Yeah, just rails. But here, come look at this, Mark. Let me take my boots off. Which of this? Over here. Between Rachel's two bases. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is a glitch, but this has happened several times to me. That ice was made by my Frostwalker boots. And it has not gone away. Yeah, and this no, is like I, several I, days ago. I know that there is a way that you can use the Frostwalker boots to glitch up ice. I just don't know how that all works. Yeah, but I, I made this days ago. And it. Well, I wonder if some of it isn't due to the uh, light level. Because we are in the shadow of a demonic tower. Yeah, you know, I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> have a torch on you? I don't have a torch on me. Hey, don't you dare light that. What? Who's saying anything about lighting anything? Tower alone. While we got about 20-ish minutes left for the stream, we do need to figure out how far out we're doing our lighting, too. Because, uh... I wouldn't mind getting a little bit more of this area lit up. Especially, um... Where the zombie spawner is, that little forest between my base and Arcadius's base. Because that's where all the stuff coming at our farm is spawning. I'm honestly wondering if it isn't time to strip down that forest and uh, start making more construction area for more buildings. Uh, I wouldn't go that far yet. I'd like to at least keep some forest around. I definitely would like to cover that hole, though. Somebody's gonna trip and fall. <laughs> I was That's a safety. Give the same thing. I was like, "Oh, duh. this isn't good." <laughs> Bye, Mister Zombie. I do like this tunnel. I somewhat feel like you're trying to copy me, but you know, whatever. Except I made mine first. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. I want to see the episode dates. I think mine was first. <laughs> that was constructed <laughs> before we started live streaming. Oh, well, in that case, you have no proof. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I have oh, server backups. No, I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh -huh. Filthy admin. Get out of here. <laughs> Filthy admin. <laughs> Just, I, I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Oh, hey, uh, I need to get this thing restored. Um.
The server glitched. <laughs> don't, don't even talk to me on glitches right yeah. now. I lost an entire nether star. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, what you guys don't know on the stream is uh, <laughs> Arcadius made this wonderful wither killing station. Except I deeply, deeply suspect that it was uh, put together incorrectly. Just because uh, it happened once to me where the wither glitched through the bedrock and started charging around the nether. And then it happened to him. Yeah, but I Except killed either. several other withers where the nether... Except I was able to collect the nether star. I just haven't figured out where I want to set up the beacon. No, oh, you... Oh, you got yours. Yeah, I, I got to say, how'd you get mine? <laughs> I didn't get yours. That that's that went to the void, man. <laughs> there, there is no coming back from that one. Mm. Alright, so how far do we want to light stuff? That is the question. I mean, why don't we just start with so it's not dangerous anymore? Well, I, I know we want to get the woods between my base and Arcadius's base. Um, the question was how far out into that swamp behind the the community area do we want to light up? How much are we planning on using? Um, I mean, honestly, I think we got to get the rail system up first because that changes things because that'll provide some lighting in and of itself. Yeah, well, well, most of that's true. going through here. Yeah. But I'm, well, I'm taking care of the here first by half. your, um, um, whatchamacallit, farm. Well, her mine is right here. So yeah. why don't we just go out to this point? At least out to the mine. Yeah. Okay. Because honestly, beyond the mine, there's not much more land over here. It's been a while since I've been back that way. Mm -hmm. Since I lit the tree on fire, since we kept, couldn't, <laughs> since none of us could remember where it was. <laughs> and the biggest direction was that tree, just at the edge of the swamp. That reminds me, I need to stock up on acacia wood. And I wonder if I'm going to do another rabbit farm like I did on the last server. I liked the results that came from the rabbit farm. I just did not like building the rabbit farm. Um, can I melt the red stand to make um glass? Yes. Yes. That's how I got most of my glass. Stripping the uh the mezzo over by the fish farm. Hmm. Is it Mesa or Mezzo? What is it? Uh, actually, it's probably more like a taiga. Taiga? No, the, the one over by the fish oh. farm. I forgot that we had the, uh, oh yeah, that that's a Mesa. Mesa, okay. I should try to remember how you say it. forgot that we had that birch forest over that way. Mm -hmm. I gotta get out of the base area more often. <laughs> <laughs> right, sand, let's start again. Yeah, I keep thinking about building something over there, but... Uh oh. Um. Cause you have this ravine right here too. Sorry, I had to grab more rockets. I ran out. <laughs> oh come on! Yeah, definitely gonna look at another gig. Oh, we're doing fine. What happened? Did you start building more redstone? A little bit. No, oh, start bother. Something 
Uh, no wonder why our iron farm stopped producing. One of the water sources disappeared. Did someone walk on it? Mm -hmm. You ain't blaming hey. that on me. Hey, down the hole, buddy. Sorry, I hate to do this, but uh, it's your lot in life. It's what you're made for. <laughs> down the hole. You can go willingly. Or not. Some slabs in here. Yes, but not enough. Yeah, a couple of the water sources updated weird. Interesting. Well, here's your cyan dye. I'll put it in the cyan glass box. There you go. I doubt you'll need more than that. Mm -hmm. I'll honestly be surprised if you use all of that. Hmm, challenge accepted. part of it fixed. I wish I knew what was causing that, though. I guess that's the second or third time that's happened? Uh, second time it's happened. Just gonna build the platform out a significant ways so that you can play around with how far apart I need to make the pillars. I'm sorry, I was busy doing admin stuff. Well, not admin stuff, uh, maintenance, redstone maintenance. building out these platforms, just the platform part, so that you can tell me how far you need the pillars. Ah. Yeah, I wouldn't go I wouldn't go too much further cuz a lot of it's going to depend on where I end up putting the station. You want me to go on the other side then that way you can experiment with a couple of stretches? Uh not 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 just yet. Okay. All right. That at least should allow you to play around with it a little bit. Yeah. Is that enough room to play with it? That's enough room to play with it. Should I go ahead and dismantle this other one or leave it there for now? Leave it leave it there as a template. Okay. At least until we've built enough of them that <laughs> that we got it all sorted out. Alright. 
All right, and all the stuff for this project are in the base, and you can walk over to the boxes, and I'll tell you what's up. I gotta make some more rockets, too. All right. Hey, progress. We figured out rail where the rail's going. We got some general boundaries on lighting. I was hoping we'd have time to actually start planting in some lights, but uh, a little shy of quarter till, so I don't know if that's something we want to get started in or not. Yeah. Mm. All right, let me go get some uh, spruce leaves and uh, lanterns. Box downstairs. Oh, okay. Never mind that I'm going to go to the box downstairs. The one labeled spruce tree leaves and the one labeled lanterns. <laughs> okay. Grab a stack of lanterns and a stack of spruce leaves. And, uh... The planes are easy because we can continue this pattern that I got going over here. It's uh, five blocks on the diagonal. Where you put the light in the fifth block. Okay. So you stand on the light, you go one block on the Three, diagonal, four, two blocks. Five, okay. Yeah. Uh, that helps with... Is this with enough the, lighting? This is barely enough barring any other obstructions. But as long as we light the outsides of the builds like you did with the community center, it shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Should I have lit the ground underneath the community center? No. Uh, and if it does, well, I don't think so. And if it does come up that we need to, we can always add more lighting later. Truth. This at least gets us the minimum necessary to, you know, not get eaten in the middle of the night. I do like not getting eaten. So how far out are we going? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because that's in there. <sighs> uh, definitely go up to the edge of the water. Okay. Mm. Yeah, can't plant a rocket there. I mean, you can, but you're not going to like the results. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Zombie. Would you like to donate flesh to the, uh, Future Leather Society? That's gonna be <laughs> awesome when that's a thing. What, the Future Leather Society? No, having that as, like, an available option. Like, to go... Leather... Or zombie flesh, now leather. Uh, we already have that. That's one of the data packs that we have. Oh. So you can put zombie flesh in a furnace and melt it into leather. I should stop using zombie flesh just to unlock villagers? Oh, no, no, no. You definitely use it for that, too. Don't forget I got that cow farm now. So we got a couple of different sources of leather. Is it also unethical? Oh, yeah, it's very unethical. I didn't know Reste was a well, in the lighting. druid. Counting. Does the person Junior. who let the turtles just like sit and rot in a one by one jail? What? Who would do such a thing? Those Maybe turtles were very well fed. 
They were. Yes, yeah, so are the ducks that people like nail their feet into the ground. And a zombie is trying to attract attack me with string. Kinda awkward. <laughs> Does it tickle? Someone should sleep. Well, I will sleep as soon as we get a little more lighting done, when it hits about 9 o'clock. Because <laughs> work starts early. I like how she is so upset about the cow and turtle farms, but not what we're doing to villagers over here. Have you seen their faces on our data pack? Or not our data pack, our texture pack? <laughs> they look creepy. They're not cute. Oh, that that's the dividing line? They gotta be cute. Yep. Yep. So so does that make the uh the rabbits fair game or no? Are the rabbits cute? They are not cute. Okay. But the turtles are. But the turtles the are. The turtles are adorable. Okay. Just trying to figure out where, where these lines are. They're with adorable or not. And you think the cows are adorable? Mm. They're not adorable, but they're not ugly. But the sheep? The sheep are adorable? The sheep are very adorable. And the llamas are cute. the face creeper the creepers are not adorable they are negative points adorable They mess up my stuff. Oh, so, so that okay. So I guess by that definition, the Endermen are really actually not adorable because they mess up they your stuff. They are also negative points of adorable. Yes. Because they mess up your stuff. Yes. Hey, if you're cognizant to mess up my stuff, you're cognizant to get eaten. I don't want to eat the Enderman. It seemed like that might be a little stringy. <laughs> Ew. I bet they're gooey. I'm actually kind of surprised that we're having this discussion. I shouldn't be, but I am. <laughs> nah, you really shouldn't be. And you need glass for the uh, project, right? Do we have yep. a box down here for it? We have a box down there. Uh, we should have a box down there. Yeah, I made a box for glass. I made a box for each type of glass. Uh, I will just separate this half and half between the two boxes and let you guys figure it out. We need more white than we need the other one. Because I have a t full shulker box of glass I'm giving to you. We need twice oh. as much of the white. Well, like I said, I just dumped the entire shulker box into the shulker boxes that were here. Do what you will with it. Alright, we're almost lit all the way to the water over here. Now I got a little bit more of your base area lit up. Between where the swamp and your uh, grass temple is.
as everybody is doubling down and trying to count. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. That at least gets a bit more of the swamp area lit up. Gonna have to go out a little bit further, but I'm also gonna be building in this area. And I gotta grab a little more fill dirt. All right, so kind of wrap this up in between now and the next stream. Uh, we're going to get all the projects done. No, no. Uh, one of the projects we'll be working on passively is lighting up the forest over there, lighting up a little bit more of the plain over here. Uh, we never did actually sit down and figure out how we're going to light up a little bit of the desert to give us a buffer on that side too. Um, one step at a time. Let's get the forest done first. We've got our tentative rail line planned out, and we just got to start building. My job's going to be put, putting together the station. Arcadius is going to be grinding out materials, and Reyes is going to be building a pretty building around said station. And we'll probably be working on that in our spare time throughout the week. So hopefully you'll see some progress on that part as we go. And if I have the time, I'm going to try to get the next stage on that egg farm chicken cooker combo deal. That sounds like something you pick up at a fast food restaurant, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> so just to kind of recap on that, and I really ought to put together just a straight up tutorial on what I'm doing, but I would have to finish it first. So we're going to have the egg farm coming into this hopper here. When that double chest is full, it's going to lock the hopper, and then it's going to start pumping the eggs into the chicken farm. And then I'll have to put a similar overflow control on the chicken chicken farm, because I only need a, a double chest or so of cooked chicken. Um, when I get around to the much promised tour of previous servers, I'll show you the chicken farm that I had going there because last server I ate nothing but cooked chicken because that thing produced more cooked chicken than I could eat. And that's even with digging an obscenely long rail line, which we'll definitely tour, but uh, that might take a minute because it certainly took us a minute. There might have to be some edits and cuts in there. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I hated that rail. Um, um, I loved I it when it was it. finished. It And the digging was nice when I needed something mindless to work on. You know, just, just keep digging. Just keep digging. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what was worse. That or the plateauing of the start of the season <laughs> oh yeah oh the start, oh, the start of this start season, of season? Yeah. yeah yeah uh because when i do the the tour i've got the original copy of the world before we started doing anything like when i first generated the seed and took a quick look around so um that'll be the capstone i've i dug up one of the old 1.8 worlds that we did so, you know, go back a little ways to that. I want to say that was the first actual server we did. And then we got the second one that we started up that was built in 1.11. Yeah, the seed was generated in 1.11. We upgraded it to 1.12 when that was released and the subsequent, you know, point releases from there. And then uh, when 1.13 came out, we started this one as a fresh server and started working on uh, the plans for Coffee Craft as an actual live stream event and hopefully recorded episodes as well. Um, I've got a couple in planning. The question has been one of having energy on the same day that I have time. <laughs> That, that has been slightly problematic, at least on my part. Um, I won't speak for the other two. 
But once we once we got things settled in, we got one, two people that were discussing about whether or not we're going to invite so we can expand out the crew a little bit, get a few more builds and things going. But uh, that is still off in the future. We're, uh, we're not there yet. Getting there, but not there yet. And uh, so, oh, oh, let me turn this way, get the dramatic sunset in the background. There we go. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. We, or I say we, I live stream every Tuesday starting at 7 p.m. U.S. Eastern. That's minus 4 UTC. And usually go for about two hours. Uh, hopefully, when other people are around, we work together on the community projects on stream like we did today. And uh, if not, I usually have a good backup plan going. And uh, I also do two other streams throughout the week. On Thursdays, I do Games Revisited, where we take a look at older games and uh, look at the classics. Ones that either didn't get a chance to go through at the time or much beloved that were looking through. Arcadius recommended the one I have recently started, Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. The good one, not the MMO. And uh, <laughs> we're about two episodes into that. And that's that runs Thursdays starting at 6 p.m. So I can get an extra hour in during the work week. And then Fridays I play World of Tanks. I jokingly call that the 47% because I clearly make the top half possible. Uh, kind of like a cross-eyed discus player. I'm not setting any records, but I will keep your attention. <laughs> and... Uh, with that, as we got the nice sunset on the horizon, I will bid you adieu.